There's rising outrage tonight over Bank of America's shocking plan to offer bank accounts and credit cards to illegal aliens in this country. Many in Congress say simply it is a dangerous precedent posing serious security risks to the nation. Kitty Pilgrim reports. Los Angeles County, one of the largest concentrations of illegal aliens in the country. Bank of America is reaching out to the community to help people open bank accounts and then qualify for a credit card. The Bank of America is tapping a resource of people in our country and knowing that they deal only on the cash economy is going after that money and making a profit off it, making a profit off of illegal entry into the United States. For identification, Bank of America accepts the ITIN, a taxpayer ID number that illegal aliens commonly use instead of a social security number. Officials at the Office of the Controller of the Currency confirmed today that an ITIN, along with name, address, and date of birth, is allowed to open a bank account. The bank then has to verify the information with another government-issued photo ID document. But that document can be issued by any government. So illegals often use matricular consular, issued by the Mexican government, easily forged or available on the black market. No passport is required, no visa is required, and once a bank account is opened, ID does not have to be rechecked for a credit card. The office of Senator Richard Shelby, the ranking member of the Senate Banking Committee, released this statement today. Senator Shelby wants to ensure the financial services industry is not offering products or services that facilitate, encourage, or even reward illegal immigration. 51 branches of Bank of America in Los Angeles County are launching the promotion. The Bank of America is saying, I don't care what our immigration laws are. There's a niche market here and we're going to go after it. Bank of America says they are simply going after an existing customer base in the Los Angeles area. Now, officials at the government regulator of national banks, the OCC, said they have no position on whether banks should allow illegal aliens to open checking accounts or have credit cards, adding that's an immigration issue. Lou? You know, to, that's the worst kind of uh, obfuscation uh, and spin on the part uh, of people who know far better and uh, uh, it's remarkable. I do want to say one thing about Bank of America. I, as you know, Kitty, don't like, I n try never to call anybody a name. Uh, last night I said a spokesperson for B of A and uh, uh, going through some nonsense claptrap about trying to rationalize this ridiculous decision. I said that person was an idiot. And what I really meant to say is what that person said was idiotic. And so I want to apologize to that person I called an idiot. I just meant that that person was speaking idiotically. Kitty, thank you very much. President Bush used his news conference today to once again push his amnesty agenda for illegal aliens to give citizenship to 12 to 20 million illegal aliens in this country. President Bush claimed again the only way to have effective security along our border. Now let me repeat this. The only way to have effective security along our border with Mexico is to give illegal aliens the right to live and work legally in this country. We need a temporary worker program so that people don't try to sneak in the country to work, that they can come in in an orderly fashion and take the pressure off the Border Patrol agents that we've got out there so that the Border Patrol agents don't focus on workers that are doing jobs Americans aren't doing, but are focusing on terrorists and criminal elements, gun runners, uh, to keep the country, both our countries safe. Did the president mention drug smugglers? like the one given immunity to testify against the Border Patrol. Uh, President Bush and Open Borders advocates are trying very hard to revive the so-called comprehensive immigration reform legislation that uh, died in our last Congress. We'll see what happens. Outrage tonight over the National Football League's decision to reject an ad from the U.S. Border Patrol for its Super Bowl program. The NFL claimed the recruitment ad was, quote, too controversial and that didn't want to enter into the national immigration debate. Our Jean Meserve reports. The Department of Homeland Security scanned every truck making a delivery to Super Bowl 41. Its canine team sniffed for bombs. Its helicopters helped police the skies. But when one of its agencies, the Border Patrol, tried to place a recruiting ad in the official Super Bowl program, the National Football League said, no way. 
It was a little too hard hitting for our fans, says an NFL spokesman. We weren't comfortable with some of the language. The ad copy says Border Patrol agents, quote, prevent the entry of terrorists and their weapons into the United States, detect and prevent the unlawful entry of undocumented aliens, and apprehend violators of our immigration laws. In 2005, the NFL held a regular season game in Mexico City, part of an effort to cultivate an Hispanic audience. Some believe the Border Patrol ad was rejected because it could have undercut that effort. They're courting the Latino audience, but they're ignoring the fact that, for example, the Border Patrol is comprised 40 percent Latinos, American citizens. Most American citizens, regardless of their race, regardless of their ethnicity, support the Border Patrol and support secure borders. The Border Patrol ad has been accepted to run in programs for the NBA All-Star Game, the NCAA Final Four, and a professional bull riding magazine. Homeland Security says it's grateful to those organizations for helping them recruit frontline personnel to help secure the nation's borders. Reaction to rejection by the NFL? We are disappointed, says a DHS spokesman. The Super Bowl program is full of soft feature articles and football-related ads, and even though they wouldn't accept an ad that mentioned immigration, they did take an ad from this guy. Hey, you talk about immigration, don't you? I do, and occasionally considered somewhat controversial. Uh, but I'm very proud I got to be a, very near a Peyton Manning and Rex Grossman in that. Uh, uh, the idea that the NFL would do this, uh, this is a federal agency with a very serious, uh, critical national security role. How could the NFL have the temerity to do this? They say this is entertainment. The Super Bowl is supposed to be for fun. They didn't mm -hmm. want to raise the issue of terrorism. However, right. anybody who was attending that game went through security. The security is there because of terrorism. I uh, think they might have thought of it that day. I wonder as those Jets uh, did that brilliant flyover at the Super Bowl, as all of the counterterrorism forces were just around the Super Bowl in Miami, protecting all of the people, including the NFL there, if they thought that it would be too controversial uh, to put forward those national security, uh, people so important to our national security. I think the NFL uh, ought to be ashamed of itself, and I th would invite anyone from the NFL, from the commissioner on to whoever you want, come on and explain to us how it's controversial to support uh, the men and women who are serving this nation in such a critical national security role, because I'm sure this audience would love to understand what you've got to say. Jean, thank you very much. You're welcome. Up next here, explosive new revelations in the case of former Border Patrol agents Ramos and Campion. The illegal alien drug smuggler given immunity by the prosecutors didn't stop smuggling drugs into this country and may have even had a little help from the prosecutor. We'll be telling you all about that. In war on our middle class, Democrats on Capitol Hill say they're ready to defend the country's workers. 